The condition is an experimental system that allows for testing the ability of different plant species to adapt to change living conditions. The installation departs from human speculations about possibly living on other planets or in radically different environments. It explores the hybrid ecologies that emerge when biological organisms merge with robotics, digital sensing, information and communications technologies, and AI algorithms. The mechanical part of the system is composed of 12 plant rotation boxes, whose design is inspired by a scientific device known as the Klinostat. The Klinostat was invented by German botanist Julius von Sachs in 1873. It uses rotation to negate the gravitational pull. This allows researchers to study the growth and development of plants in a simulated microgravity environment that approximates the conditions of outer space. Space weather refers to dynamic conditions that exist in the Earth's outer space environment, which are correlated with the sun's activity. The installation is activated by real-time measurements of space weather data performed by NASA. Space weather is today considered a threat to national security in many countries, as it could knock out power grids and cause massive blackouts and breakdowns in the communications infrastructure. The space weather data is fed to an artificial neural network and an algorithm known as Kohonen Feature Map or a self-organizing map. The self-organizing map algorithm then learns how to classify the information. It maps the dataset as rotation speeds onto the grid of plant boxes and it gradually organizes it in the pattern that is most appropriate. At the end of this process each box is rotating at a fixed number of revolutions per minute. This unsupervised learning and self-organization is restarted every time new data is received from the satellite. The first organism to undergo testing in the system was a clone of the Nordman fir tree. Originally from Caucasus, this immigrant tree has now become the most popular Christmas tree in Denmark. It is also economically the most important species in Danish forestry. Twelve small clones of type G02.217 were supplied by the researchers from the Tissue Culture Laboratory at Copenhagen University. This specific clone is developed to be a robust and can thrive under the shifting Danish weather conditions. In appearance, it also fits the aesthetic preference of Danish consumers and the cultural conceptions of an ideal Christmas tree. The system has been running at locations in three Nordic countries continuously for over 11 months. Some of the clone trees are still living, whereas others did not survive. Further experiments are in progress to test the possibilities for establishing techno-organic ecologies with shifting living conditions. <laughs>